How to be a sensual maid, part two. Being a sensual maid is a choice that you make. And above all, especially if you're without a master, you must keep yourself happy. So you want to continue to be a maid. Keeping that in mind, if you do have a master, or a princess that you can serve, you should strive to know them as well as possible so you can make their life as wonderful as it can be. Observe your master. Learn what they like. Clear your mind of the things that you think they should like or the things that you think they should want from a maid. Take time to learn, explore, and discover what it is that they actually like. Sometimes you'll be able to give them what you would like them to have. But a good maid always puts their master's preferences first. Do your research. Is your master a visual person? Create a world that visually appeals to them with lovely flowers, beautiful outfits. Are they an auditory person? Are they enticed by what they hear? Then make sure to speak in melodious tones. Put on wonderful music that they might enjoy. Could they be a more tactile person? Food and fabrics that are rich in texture are sure to delight this type of master. Look, listen, and experience discovery of what your master likes. No two masters are the same. And once again, most importantly, when you're striving to make your master happy, Make sure, as a sensual maid, you keep yourself happy. A happy maid is of the best service to their master. See you next time.